who said I couldn't do natural glam, huh? Hi everybody, I'm Molly Spaghetti and welcome back to another video and if you're new here, welcome. So, I usually don't do this type of makeup. It's a very natural type of glam. Yeah, so I decided to challenge myself and do very natural glam and do it the way I see Instagram makeup artists do it um, because I don't do this type of makeup. I don't do natural and I don't do glamour. I always like a... <coughs> I, always <coughs> I always like... There we go. I always like doing a very like out there, avant-garde type of looks. You know, I'm very... I've always been into like the alternative scene, so that's where, how I prefer to do my makeup. Not this. This is cute, but I had to add a vampy lip and not a nude gloss like how I originally planned because the, the lip just makes me feel like me. I feel like I have... I feel like I'm playing a character with this makeup, honestly. And... Enough of me talking, let's just get to the tutorial. And yeah, let's get started. So I put the Mineral Primer on, and I guess I have to start with brows. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow and just do a very cute Instagram brow. I'm like, I guess there's some advantage to doing your brows first because I could like mess up as much as I want. But also, I'm not like even used to doing this type of shape for my brow. <laughs> and this one's just way thicker. Also, sorry that the light keeps changing. It's very overcast. Well, not like overcast. It's like partly cloudy, so the light keeps changing. So I'm going to move on to concealer. I never conceal my brows just because I don't. I just like always do them um, like after I do my eyeshadow. So I'm going to try to get this one to match my, my right brow because I like this one. It reminds me of my natural brow. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the concealer out. I did like some research on this. I watched like Huda Beauty on Instagram because when I think of like an IG baddie, I think of Huda Beauty, I guess. Or like just Instagram makeup in general, I think of Huda. So I guess I have to do a very simple neutral type of look i'm gonna do like that half cut crease that i've seen a lot lately i think it's really pretty and i've never like tried it so i'm gonna do that today so i'm taking my morphe 350 palette just to get all the neutrals and i'm gonna go in with this really light shade right here as like my transition And I'm going to take this more taupey shade right here and put it along the crease. I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I'm just taking a little. And I'm going to place it in like the outer part of the lid first. And then blend it up into the crease. And as I'm doing this, I'm also going to like start wean it out just a little so next I'm going to carve out the little half cut crease and I'm going to go in with my Ben Nye ultralight and just a little Ben Nye cream brush I'll put it on my lid first and then carve out just where my lid is not taking like too too much product and then blending it towards the shadow on the outer lid and then to set 
that I'm just gonna go in with with Sun a cute little rose gold color and yeah so I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna place it on and I'm taking it sort of over the outer part that way I can blend it in just a sec so going back in with the Morphe palette, I'm taking this shade right here because it's just the one next to the one I used earlier and this is going to help blend things right here. Alright, and then using the first taupey shade and the same brush, I'm just going back on the top. To further blend out this line right here and then next I'm gonna go in with a liquid liner I'm taking wet n wilds mega line and just line my eyes so for now I'm done with the eyes and then I'm gonna move on to the face for foundation I'm gonna go in with, with Kat Von D because I just see super full coverage all the time and next I'm taking my wet n wild concealer and just conceal under the eye so I'm gonna contour and then I'll go back around with the highlight because that's usually what I like doing so I'm gonna take the night character shadow and I'm just gonna go in with my finger and place some dots and then I'm taking the e.l.f. sculpting brush and just going at it. So the camera very rudely cut me off. Um, but I'll give you the little rundown. So after I contoured, I did some highlight. I baked. I... I added, oh, yeah, I added some sh shadow on the bottom lash line, I also put the basket case liner on my waterline, I added some bronzer, which was the Tarte one, and the highlight I am wearing, I try to put a lot because the IG girls wear a lot of highlight, um, but this is the Aurelia highlight, it's my only natural highlight that I have. I put blush, I darkened up my brows a bit, I also changed, if you couldn't tell. I added lashes, these I stacked in a previous video, so go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a little eye card or a link down below, we'll see. The light outside keeps changing on me. Um, the lipstick I am wearing is Griselda from Fenty, because I need a little vamp in my life. And, yeah, that's about it. I'm going to put setting, I should put setting spray. I'm going to put some on. But I think with my camera cutting me off, I believe it's the universe telling me that. It doesn't want me to do this type of makeup. Um, but, yeah, this is like my little final look. It's cute. It's very very natural glam it's almost like drag makeup just very toned down and my blush is in where I usually like it but uh, I, I, I like it it's cute that's it for this little tutorial type scene I guess couldn't really watch me doing my face makeup but the eyes are what matter. Um, I don't like doing brows and eyes first because I feel like I still had to fix my brows at the end. So hopefully you liked this tutorial. At least, <laughs> the eyes at least. And yeah. So until next time, I'm Melly Spaghetti. Bye.